Call gentleman, the ranking member of the Committee on Ways and Means, Mr. Levitt. The gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Against consent to revise and extend. Without objection. The gentleman from Michigan is recognized for two minutes. Mr. Hastings has indicated that if we turn down the previous question, we will bring up H.R. 639. This is a fact. China's currency manipula manipulation is hurting U.S. businesses and workers. According to a recent study, imports from China account for 25 to 50 percent of the manufacturing jobs we have lost over the past decade. That's one million to two million jobs in our trade deficit with China continues to grow. An important factor in this picture is currency manipulation. American manufacturers are forced to compete against an estimated 25 percent discount on imports from China due to that manip manipulation. That's on top of China's massive subsidies and other policies. Dr. Fred Berkson, who heads the Peterson Institute, says that elimination of China's undervalued currency would create a million jobs, mainly in manufacturing. And that manipulation is by far the largest protectionist measure adopted by any country since the Second World War, probably in all history. Meanwhile, the Chinese government is pushing production of high-end manufacturing products that compete head-on with American products, high-tech products, solar panels, wind turbines, automobiles, aircrafts, and others. This is a bipartisan measure. A majority of the House, 230 members, have co-sponsored the bill, including 62 Republicans. The time has come for action. Eight years of talk have yielded meager results. American workers and businesses cannot wait any longer and the U.S. economy cannot wait any longer. The time is now for action. Defeat the previous question. I yield back. Yields back his time. The gentleman from Florida, Mr. Nugent.